Hello, the same with the birds, and I'm here with part five of Back to the Future, episode one. Now, um, I meant part five if I said part four. Now, last time on, um, Back to the Future, I mean, it's early in the morning, I'm tired. What do you mean this? Oh! No, angry buzzer. We're family. I'm your grand, uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah, glad to know you. But I can't leave this building until the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry, some other time. Hmm. To get Arthur out, you'll need to go and get something from the town center. Okay. Well, what I meant was last last time we um uh, okay. Nope. We can't go. Wait. I got the hat. Early, I need to use the hat to get him out. What now? Let me get your hat. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Oh. Oh, it's the subpoena. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Something from the town center. Someone's playing tricks on me. Oh, no, we're not. Something from the town center. Not really specific, but of course I'll check. As bad as things could get with Beth. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, how'd you get here faster? Hmm. Well, we did see him doing this. Oh, uh, no, I, I was accidentally pressed, kid Tannen. It's not too bright. Maybe I can trick him into dragging Grandpa out in the open. Okay. But if it says no, then I'll go.
Oh gosh, I'm about to get my head beaten. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, Matches. Uh, now we're doing, now we're going through the same old cutscene. Just Martin, he might not be so lucky. Or no. We oh, yeah, gotta try to get on the gazebo. Okay. Well, now what do I do? Which is worse, kids bark or his bite? Okay, that didn't go too well. Marty isn't coded by Kid's ranting, but timid Arthur probably would be. Try recording Kid while he's ranting. Meaning I'm gonna have to go through that whole thing again. So sorry, people. This is gonna be happening a few times, maybe. Now they just say, hey. Get on the gazebo again. As hard as it may be, get on the gazebo. Now let's get on this time. I don't see how they... Ah, oh, they actually do remember. <laughs> His upper lip just looks so funny. Hmm. Give me a second to think. Okay, done thinking. No, don't go over there. Angry that just be plain old stupid to go back and get them riled up again. I wish there was way. No, is there a way we can run in this? Oh, there is. It's press circle. I just found that out. Okay. Okay. No, Emmett. Could you? Oh, I. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, let's give him the subpoena. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's something for you. Thanks. A subpoena. Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into Tannen. Take it back. You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? The kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Catch, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh. I hate doing stuff like that. But I won't have too much longer. No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. Well, I hope you enjoyed part five of Back to the Future. And tune in next time for part six when we... You never know who can help you. Lay your hands on some bootleg hooch. Maybe the most unlikely people of... Try talking to Edna. See you next time.